SB19 Story Episode 2 The Zone Ayan, so syempre naka-upload po yan sa YouTube channel ni Casual Chuck Na merong 83.5 thousand subscribers Syempre, nakapag-subscribe na po ako dyan Kasi pangalawang beses ko na nga po magbibigay ng reaction video Sa channel nga po ni Casual Chuck Alright, no? So bari may roon na po itong 88,000 views sa loob ng isang taon At syempre, in-upload po itong mga repapits noong April 5, 2022 Okay, so last time nagbigay ako ng reaction video sa episode 1 nga po no? sa, sa SB19 story episode 1 Yung which is yung pagsisimula or paano nabuo ang SB19 So this time, so ito yung pinakang panimula no? kung paano sila nagsimula bilang grupo So ibig sabihin, paano sila nagsimulang gumawa ng mga kanta Paano sila nagsimula na, nagsimulang gumawa ng, uh, ng mga account nila which is YouTube channel or ebla FB page blah 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 so kung paano yung mga tawag sa mga pan nila you know so bibigyan natin ng reaction video yung documentary na to ni uh, Casual Chuck nga po ano ayan so bali dito makikita natin kung ano yung uh, pinakang umpisa nila nung simulang simula bago, ba, bago sila sumikat so bago sila makilala nga po sa panahon sa ngayon Okay, so kung gusto mong panoorin to ng dire-diretso, ayan, pumunta ka ng description, nandun yung pinakalink yan. I-click mo yan kasi meron tayong gagawing slide na cut dito kasi nga po gagawa natin ng comment or reaction yung pinakang video na to. No? So mapapanood mo yan dire-diretso, pumunta ka ng description, ayan, i-click mo yung link yan. Okay, so kung gusto mo rin ng ganitong klaseng content, syempre wag mong kakalimutang i-like yung video na to. I-subscribe yung channel ko kung bago ka pa lang. Click notification bell para ma-update kita kada may lalabas po kung ganitong klaseng reaction video. Okay, so wag na nating patagalin ni play na po natin ng SB19 Story Episode 2 The Zone. Let's go. Brut brut pow. Disclaimer, this video is only based on my personal research. I might miss some details and it's possible to have discrepancies. But I did my best to get as much accurate information as possible. So enjoy. Enjoy. Just a quick correction to episode 1. Josh didn't only recruit Ken but also Justin. Josh told Justin about the workshop which gave him the opportunity to become a show BT trainee. Now that we got that... So it's be it. Uh... Kinorek niya yung pagkakamali niya dun sa episode 1. Uh, so, hindi lang pala si Josh ang nag-recruit kay Ken. So, even din si Justin pala. Alright, tutuloy natin to. About the workshop which gave him the opportunity to become a show BT trainee. Mm. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get into the video. Get in the zone. The zone. Everyone has that one thing that makes them feel good about themselves. Like they're in control. Everything else could be going completely haywire. Ano ba yan, Sten? Ano ba yung ayos mo yan? Talaga yung style yan. Like the world is completely falling apart around you. Grabe naman yun. Parang, parang ano na rin ah. Nilait ba yung buhok ba o yung style ng buhok ni ano ni Steldon? Nilait o parang tinanong lang naman. So tuloy natin to. Like the world is completely falling apart around you. Minsan na makita ng tao kung ano kami naghihirap. But when you're doing that one thing, Uy. life is wonderful. From walang nanonood, sapos sa biglang nagdumami yung nanonood, nag-switch siya. Tuloy natin ito. Thing, life is wonderful. Halos wala. And that makes everything worth it. The Zone. The Zone. So nung una nung documentary 1 no yung pinakang episode 1 ng uh, story ng SB19 is Sound Break yung title ng episode 1. This time The Zone. So tuloy natin. Montero si Komsa Gyorga ga naasunda. Imshinindayo. Anyo. 
임신은 아닙니다. Then why do I feel weak lately? Mrs. Montero, you are HIV positive. Ooh. 사기꾼. Adi Hong. She could have easily become a popular celebrity in the Philippines. Back in Wait lang, wait lang. Si Adi Hong yung Wait lang. Hong. She could academy director trainer. Could have easily become a popular celebrity in the Philippines. Back in Korea, she was a well-established theater actress, a vocal, dance, and beauty coach, a one-woman show. But instead, she chose to use her experience to guide and nurture the boys to reach their highest potential. Along with Tatang Robin, she was also one of the main reasons why SB19 is where they are now. Mm. She is popularly known as Miss Hongganda and we will see her often in this video. Siya yung parang katuwang ni Tatang Robin. Ito si Madam Hong. Before SB19's debut, they tried to establish an online presence. So on May 16, 2018, they created their Facebook page. Oh. This could possibly be the unofficial date they were formed. May 16, 2020, 2018. Okay. Facebook page. They started posting song covers like these. Send me your location let's focus on communicating this i just need the time and place to come through yeah. i hope he buys you flowers i hope he holds your hand and dance covers like these lean with it now with it yeah, don't fall now stab with it nay nay then you stop hold it hold it hey i'm back keep rolling rolling they became more active in social media while maintaining... So, yun yung pinakang unang mga laman ng Facebook page nila. Yung, 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 yung ilang, ilang kanta tapos yung dance cover nila. Okay, tuloy natin to. They became more active in social media while... One ta Wait lang. They became... 1,000 Facebook like and 150 YouTube subscribers pa lang. Thank you so much for your support, SP19. Oo. Ah, sila celebrate nila yung 1,000 Facebook likes tsaka yung 150 YouTube subscriber. Grabe ganun sila. No? Masaya na kaagad sila sa ganung maliit na bagay. No? Maliit pa lang yan sa kanila. Maliit pa lang pero para sa kanila malaki na yung malaking bagay na yun. Oo. Kahit naman sino, no, mga repapit, so kahit ako, no, nung nagsisimula pa lang ako sa YouTube, no, nung nagsimula ako dyan, is bag, nung naka-100 uh, subscribers ako, nagpadala si, uh, nang, nag-notify, nag uh, nagpadala ng email sa akin sa YouTube na congratulations, no, mayroon ka ng 100 followers, na 100 subscribers, masayang-masaya na ako doon, no. Pinost ko agad sa social media, kasi nga, uh, 100 subscribers legit no so yun malit lang yun pero malaking bagay na para sa akin yun yun yung parang ginawa na dito no biruin mo no 1000 facebook facebook likes and one, 150 youtube subscribers lang tila pero di ba doon sila nagsimula sa maikling sa maliit na bagay na doon sila nagsimula pero ngayon di di, di ba grabe oh tuloy natin to mga repa peace they became more active in social media while maintaining the regular performances in small events. They did small this until it was almost time for their debut. We have good news for you guys. Because after the very, very long wait, finally, yes, finally, we will be releasing our debut single entitled Tia Lua! Yun yung unang-unang kanta nila pala, Tila Luha. Alright, alright. October 26, 2018. SB19 finally debuted with their ballad single called Tila Luha. But did you know that it wasn't the only song that they had at the time? They also had Love Goes but they chose to debut with Tila Luha to capture the hearts of the Filipino people because the lyrics are in Tagalog. They then started promoting Mas pinili nila yung Tila Luha kaysa sa Love Goes kasi parang ano nila yun sa ano sa mga Pilipino parang dedicated nila yung kanta na yun sa mga Pilipino nga no? tuloy natin to the Filipino people because the lyrics are in Tagalog mm. they then started promoting dahil nga is Tagalog yung lyrics okay okay okay, okay. In their debut song in every way they could think of November 17, 2018 marked SB19's first ever livestream to promote their debut single mm. uh, natin ang first 
first SB first live stream okay Italian cam Facebook live oh 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 Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Ah! Sa wakas, dumating na rin ang oras na akong pinakahihintay. Matagal-tagal na rin nagsaray. Sige lang, sige, hanggang para para bang wala pa nga nga ba na dara mabigay mo na. Machine gun, ratatatatatatata. Wow! Yep, they did all that in front of just a little over 10 viewers. You can still watch the whole live stream to this day on their official Facebook page. They also perform in Grabe no yung unang live stream pala nila no 3 viewers or 10 hanggang 10 viewers lang inabot no. Doon pinakita nila yung kapwa mga mga talent nila individually no. So pinakita nila doon kung ano yung mga, mga specialties na meron sila no. Truy mo, napakaliit pa lang pala, nagsisimula talaga sila, is talagang yung normal na isang talent na talaga nagsisimula nang hindi pa talaga kilala. No, ganun din pala talaga sila. No? Rich pa, from rag, rags to riches. Ganun. Kaya papis, galing nila ganito. Galing ka Watch ganito. the whole live stream to this day on their official Facebook page. They also perform in schools, malls, nursing homes, and even orphanages. But their debut only received a lukewarm reception. The stream count didn't move as fast as they have hoped for. Days turned into weeks, and weeks turned into months. But their grind continued. After the dis- Kumakanta sila sa mall, sa mga iba't ibang lugar, nang wala halos nanonood mga repa. Grabe, no? Kinikilabutan ako sa kwento nito. ba? Relate to sa mga taong... Dito yung masasabi talaga na biruin mo, wala talaga silang viewers, mga repapis, no? Nagsimula sila, hindi sila talaga kilala. Ganon ka, ano? Ganon talaga kasi kaporsigido yung grupong to na deserve talaga nila yung natama, natatamasa nila sa ngayon, mga repapis, no? Grabe, nakakakilabot yun. Walang nanonood. Biroin mo, ano, sa, sa mall, binibidyoan sila, masayon sila, wala naman sila. Walang nanonood. Para sila nagkatanghal lang sa kalye na dumadaan lang yung mga tao. ba Live stream, wala rin viewers. Grabe. Ganun sila dati, mga repapis. Tuloy natin to. Pointing debut, they started preparing for a comeback. Uh, today, nandito kami sa recording studio. Um, Nag-re-record kami ng kanta namin. Ito mismo yung parang kwento ng SP19. Yung lyrics mismo ng song namin is about pangarap ng SP19. Yeah. Parang nagsimula yung lahat. Ito po talaga yung kantang gugulat sa lahat. Yun. They collaborated with a critically acclaimed Korean producer, Oh Won Lee, who's behind the success of TVXQ and Stray Kids. Mm. Pablo, with the help of the boys, wrote the song as they began to enter the go up era they started go practicing up. their go up dance routine which was intricately choreographed by Stell and Ken they were required to practice 30 times daily until Ooh. they reach 1000 reps and boy they daily. did it. they were even challenged to perform the dance routine at double speed Yep, that was not even in fast forward. Now that they have reached the quota, it was time for them to shoot the music video. Hey! 
After practice, music video ka agad, no? Ah, uh, yes, rekta ka agad. July 19, 2019. SB19 dropped their Go Up music video. Expectations were higher because this was the song that showcased their singing, dancing, and songwriting skills. Oh. But for some reason, it has also met a lukewarm reception. They then started promoting the song using the methods they know. They even reacted to their own music. Palos walang nanonood sa kanila, ano? Ayan, ano? And started promoting the song using the methods they know. They even reacted to their own music video. <laughs> but none of their efforts made a significant impact. After that, you would think that it was the biggest setback. But not until August 17, 2019. <laughs> This was when the Go Up press conference happened. This was supposed to be an effort for them to establish a presence in the media world. They were interviewed by professional journalists, but instead of receiving a warm welcome, most of what they got was straight up disrespect. Disrespect? <laughs> Grabe naman yun, Estelle, Estelle. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Ah, kasi po, oh, clear po po yung name po po, Estelle. Kasi po, galit po siya. Yung full name po po is Estelle Bester po. Ang oh, po, Estelle Bester po. Marami, marami. Oh, po, kasi po yung mama po po, idol niya po si Sylvester Stallone. Kaya doon niya po, pinasin yung name po po. Oh, oh. Tapos po, yung style ko naman po ngayon, actually po, hindi ko po alam eh. Kung baga, kung ano lang po yung naisip ko, ito yung sukot ko. Sige, ganito na nga namin po po. Parang ganito po, ito lang po yung inaisip. Pero Pinagtanggol siya ni Josh. Despite all the judgment, Grabe naman yung repo, ano na yun? Press na yun? Palibasa, ano, Becky siya eh, kaya ganun siya makapagano eh, no? Although na ano niya, no? Parang, binanata niya rin talaga si Estelle, no? Sa hairstyle niya, di ba? Sa hair hairstyle or even dun sa sa pananamit, di ba? Sa pangalan, ginam Estela daw. No, talagang ginudge siya, ginudge ka agad dun si Estela. Kumbaga grabe rin pala yung pamamahiya na ginawa ng mga press dito sa sa press con nila sa Go Up, no. Tingnan natin to. Pero at least di ba napagtanggol siya ni Josh, yun yung maganda rin na Ayos ka, very very nice ka, Josh. Uh, bilang kaibigan, talaga na pagtanggol mo yung kaibigan mo. Sa harap na mismo ng press na nagtatanong, at least diba? Despite all the judgment, they handled the interview professionally. Yes, As the event tama. concluded, the boys broke down to tears backstage and comforted each other. Mm. Perhaps they're just human beings and the thick skin they develop all throughout those years can only take so much punishment, especially when it went straight to their hearts. They all broke down. This made them question themselves if they were still doing the right thing. It casted so much doubt that it made them all decide to call it quits. Hmm? Everyone left, except Stel. Oh. He received the most hate, but he was the one left standing. 
Perhaps he was a good example of someone who was entered the zone. Old. Someone who managed to tap into the altered state of consciousness where time disappears and he becomes so focused that not even judgment could stop him from doing what he loves. But he knew for a fact that he can never do it alone. And there he was, alone. But only for a moment. Josh had a realization to not give up because people have not seen everything yet. This prompt. Marami mong nagihit sa kanila na pangihinaan sila, pero at least parin hindi parin sila sa muro no. Talaga nagpatuloy parin sila, lalo na lalo na si Estelle no. Maraming pangbabash do, pang panlalait sa kanya, pero tinuloy parin ni Estelle to no. Salut kay Estelle, may papits. Realization to not give up because people have not seen everything yet. This prompted the other members to return and witness their lives change in just one fateful day when their go up dance practice got uploaded on YouTube on September 2, 2019. Mm. It quickly went viral, which opened a lot of doors for SB19 to have TV guestings and live Yun. performances. Ah, my group hug. Ah, okay. Ah, sige. Oh, jalan kayo. Ang galing namin. Introduce yourself. Get in the zone, break! Hi, we are SB19. My name is Spike. Spice kita. I am the wittiest ABS-CBN. As the world, dun sila parang ano? sa YouTube September 2, tama? 2019. Dun sila nakaroon ng mga guesting kasi nakilala sila no, nung simula na upload sa YouTube. Ay, yata rin simula. My name is Spike. Spice kita. I am the wittiest ABS-CBN. As the world started to notice them, their YouTube channel grew exponentially. Um, play their dance practice video reached 1 million views in just a week, then 2 million a month later. Wait a minute, who's our room? Our room, yeah, nah. November 2, 2019. So for the final announcement of the fandom name, 3, 2, 1, Ta-da! May mga supporters sa sila. Uh, Unang-una sa lahat, pag pinagay mo siya, 18 siya, di ba? 18. So, kasi kami, SB19, 18, 19. Ito ng Robin. So, if there's no 18, then also there's no SB19. Yes! Kung walang 18, walang 19. Eh, kung walang fan, kung walang supporters, walang sosoportahan. Eh, kung walang sumusoporta, wala yung sinosoportahan. Eh, tama. Siyempre, 18 muna pa grade. 17, 18, 19. Pag wala 18, hindi ba akarating sa 19? Another meaning. Another meaning. Another meaning. So, if you're going to read this, 18, it could also be read as Atin. Atin. So, ours. all the success, all the, lahat ng natatamo natin yun, Atin to, ours. Everything is ours. Hindi lang sa amin, kundi sa inyo rin. Atin. Everyone. Atin. Kumbaga, yung palahan tama. Kumbaga, yung dreams natin, pangarap, problems, everything, we will share together. Atin yan, lalaban tayo, kaya natin yan natin. Lastly, uh, gusto talaga namin special mention yung or sa lahat lahat kasi sa totoo lang um, talagang sila yung unang 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 sumuporta sa amin kung hindi pa nila ah ito yun yung mga yun yung our rooms sa, sa grupo namin kaya thankful kami kaya nakahiwala yan A ibig sabihin niyan or room or room okay. ah SB na siya ah ang galing galing or room and SB na siya kaya pala masaya po kayo sa lahat sa fandom na yun na nagawa po ng grupo namin and that, ladies and gentlemen, is when 18 was born. So what does it mean to be in the zone? Was it really only Stell that entered it? If you think about it, even before the other members decided to quit, they were already done with the dance practice. That alone made the press conference irrelevant. It didn't even matter that it happened. It turned out that actually all of them have always been in the zone. Ah, okay, Being okay. in the zone is what allowed them to defy all the odds. 
It was the zone that allowed a five foot man in the NBA. It was the zone that allowed a man living in the streets to rise up and become a billionaire. It was the zone that took an idea from someone's head to the moon. It was the zone that won wars and lack of it had lost. It is the zone that separates their ideas and dreams from a materialistic reality. Manny, Efren, Catriona, SB19. What do they have in common? So kaya the zone, no? Yon, uh, sa grupo pala nila, dahil sa sobrang dami ng nagbabash din sa kanila dati, walang halos sumusuporta, gusto nang gumib up nga nito nung, nung apat, bukod tangi lang kay Estelle, na kung saan si Estelle pa nga is yung maraming nagbabash sa kanya, yung marami pang namamahiya, do, mismong sa press con pa siya ginanon, no? Pero sa halip na siya yung masasabi nating dapat na maggumib up na is yung mga kasama niya pa yung tila gusto no para parang tigil itigil na natin to kasi ganto ganyan no pero siya pa yung nanatili na parang ano no parang di ba kung sino pa yung maraming binab ng babash sila pa yun pa yung tila kam pinakang gustong lumaban pa ng tuloy-tuloy. No? Salute, Stel! Si Stel yung pinakang parang bida rito sa episode nito mga Repapit. Kaya pala da so. Ayan, so napakaganda ng istorya. Maraming salamat sa iyo, Casual Chuck. No? Ang ganda ng documentary mo. Talagang napabilib mo ako dito. Kinilabutan ako at talagang muntik ng tumilaluha. <laughs> Tumululuha ba? No? Pinigilan ko lang. Tila luha. Tumululuha. <laughs> Nakakilabot yung istorya mo. Ano? Casual Chuck. Salute sa iyo. Ayan. Sana uh, uh, ito yung episode ko na to. Pangalawa pa lang. So talagang magtutuloy-tuloy to. Hindi sana talagang magtutuloy-tuloy to. Sana paunlakan mo lang ako. No? Sana uh, kung makapanood mo man to is talagang sana is uh, i-welcome mo lang ako sa channel mo. Ayan. So saludo Casual Chuck. Ang galing mo talaga. Ayan. So kung gusto mo rin tong i-panoorin uh, ng dire-direcho. Ayan. Walang cut. This time kasi reaction video yung ginawa natin kaya may islip tayong kinat dito ano? pumunta ka ng description doon yung pinaka link yan i-click mo para diretsyong makapunta, diretsyong makapunta ka sa pinaka video na to na mapanood mo diretsyo ano? ayan so kung nagusto mo rin pagbibigay ko ng reaction video syempre wag mong kakalimutang i-like yung video na to subscribe yung channel ko kung bago ka pa lang click notification bell para ma-update kita kada may lalabas po akong ganitong klaseng reaction video hanggang sa muli maraming po salamat it's Dogs GTV peace and I'm out yeah